Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Introduction to the JSP Standard Tag Library. In this video, you will learn what the JSTL is and we'll go over some JSTL terms and basic details. The Java Server Pages Standard Tag Library, or JSTL, is part of the Java EE Web Application Development Platform. JSTL adds a tag library of JSP tags for common tasks like XML data processing, conditional execution, database access, loops, and internationalization, to name a few. The Java Server Pages Standard Tag Library encapsulates core functionality common to many JSP applications. Instead of mixing Java scriptlets and tags in your JSP applications, JSTL allows you to employ a single standard set of tags. The main features of JSTL technology are as follows. A set of standard tags for developing JSP pages, an expression language, for accessing server-side objects, and mechanisms for defining extensions to the JSP language. Let's have a brief look at JSTL in action. First, let's look at a commonly used Java scriptlet. In this case, it's just a simple for loop. Here we mix HTML along with Java. We can see the beginning HTML, which starts the page, followed by the delimiter which indicates that Java should be run on the server. Here's the opening line of our for loop. Note the counter variable i. Inside the loop, we're using the JSP expression to print whatever number i represents at the time, followed by the HTML line break. Then we end the loop. And then finally we end the page. In this case, we have mixed HTML tags with Java. One goal of using JSTL is to reduce the amount of Java that we'll see in the view components. Here we see the equivalent code but this time using JSTL tags. First we see a tag that just specifies which part of the JSTL library will be used. In this case the core portion of the library. We see our regular HTML head section and we start the body. And Now we see a new JSTL tag. Note that much of this is in the form of HTML with the angle bracket delimiters followed by a keyword and then parameters with the name value pair format. In this case we're using the core tag for each. And you'll note we have a partner slash for each tag just like in HTML. In the center of the loop we're simply printing out the value of i. In later videos we'll look at this JSTL tag and others in more detail. Like many libraries, the JSTL is divided into sections. These are called functional areas. The five functional areas are the core, XML, formatting, database, and functions. Each functional area has sub-functions of responsibility. Each functional area is indicated by a prefix in each of the JSTL tags. In addition, each functional area has a URI which is used to let your pages know which part of the JSTL library can be accessed for those tags. The core functional area contains the core tags for common tasks such as flow control. We use the prefix C in each of the JSTL tags that are part of the core. The XML section provides tags for working with and manipulating XML documents. Its prefix is X. The formatting section provides tags for formatting text and numbers and internationalization. The prefix to use there is FMT. The database section provides tags for working with SQL queries and data sources. As you might expect, the prefix for this part of the library is SQL. And finally, the functions area of the JSTL provides functions that can be used to work with collections and manipulate strings. Its prefix is FN. Oracle provides a nice set of documentation for the JSTL. We can see that here. Here we see the standard frame view of the Java Server Pages standard tag library tag reference. It's provided by Oracle at the URL shown here. 
you can see that the reference is divided into the five main functional areas. All told, the JSTL is not too large. At present, there are only roughly 60 tags in the entire library. We can drill down into each of the particular libraries to get more detail. If we are interested in a particular tag, such as the for each, which we used in our previous example, we can get to a detail page to talking about the tag. Here we'll see a basic description of the tag, some tag information, and we'll see the various attributes that we can use for the tag. As you learn the JSTL, keep this URL in mind as it should be your primary reference for understanding how to use each of the tags. For more information about JSTL, please visit the referenced sites shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.